Honestly, you know, I'm not seeing a lot of people pulling fish like we are. <laughs> I think that's funny. Hey everyone, this is Neil with Bite Me Flies TV, and yeah, we are getting on episode five, I believe, or four. It's four this time. One, two, three, yeah, four. Um, we're gonna do a Holter Madness this weekend. Uh, we just went over to uh, Holter Eye Reservoir there at Gates of the Mountains. Um, yeah, there was a lot of people for a Saturday. Everyone wanted it to be spring, so it became spring. Um, caught a lot of fish, as you're gonna see on the tape. Um, it was just absolute stupid crazy catching rainbow trout over there this weekend. Um, the two best rigs that we found, obviously we were running, I was running bottom bouncers, I was trying to catch walleyes. Um, obviously I didn't catch any walleyes, but boy, I definitely caught a lot of trout on these rigs. Um, it's a pretty cool setup. Um, it's basic bottom bounce rig with a smiley blade, two core keys, um, two beads. It's pretty straightforward. I'll give you a close-up here in a second. I'm going to stand up and give you a close-up of the rig. Um, tied with two hooks uh, in tandem uh, with an egg loop. I don't know if you guys are going to see this rig. But I'm going to come closer so you can see it. So it's two hooks set up. Basically, you'll run half a night crawler off of that. You'll have, that's actually a couple more beads. So you have one red bead, two glows. You'll have a corky, you'll have two more beads, and you'll have a you know, max lure smiley blade. Um, pretty straightforward outfit. Um, hooks them up dang near every time. We only missed, you know, we probably only missed on this rig 10% of the fish that we got bites on, which was really good. Um, but a really good rig. Um, we did the same thing with orange. Um, running it off the basic bottom bouncer outfit. Um, softer rod. I always like softer rods. Um, I actually have built several different rods, but they're really soft, almost like the kokanee type rods. Um, match it with an Abu Garcia bait caster. Uh, I got 12 pound test monofilament on this one. I've got uh, 20 pound braid on the other one, which gives it a little bit more sensitivity, uh, which makes it work really great. Um, I love it. I just, I mean, it's great. I can sit there and spread out three or four of these behind the boat and the rod holders, just like I'm doing a pass for walleyes. And, uh, for those rainbow trout it was just deadly i mean we were getting doubles pretty consistently we got two tri two or three i don't know maybe four triples actually we got a quad at one point we had four fish on at one point um the other way we were catching them obviously was with the jig um and you can use a whole bunch of different marabou type jigs over there um, i actually tie a couple of different ones on uh, northland jig heads or just standard jig heads um this one you're going to see just basically a northland jig head um, tied on there like I just basically tied it in a minnow pattern it's a 3 8 ounce so you can fish it a little bit quicker um, and the trick we found with it was to not necessarily hit the bottom but just swim it swim it and get it to jiggle up and down um, if you did a snap jig where you snap the rod real quick where you were you cast it out and you'd sit there real tight to it and then snap snap and then just let it fall in kind of a slack line it was pretty deadly my brother probably caught 15 20 fish on that um, that's the nice thing about running the bottom bouncers and running slow like we were um, I can run 0 0.7, 0 0.8 miles an hour with the bottom bouncers out making a spread. Um, with two of us in the back, me and Mike Spencer were fishing in the back, and then my brother Mike was fishing up front. 
pitching the jig around, so he was kind of fan casting in front of us. Several times he'd see a fish rise in the casting distance, so right to the fish, two or three jigs, and he's got them. So I can't think of a more fun way to do this other than the bottom belchers. I mean, we were covering water. I bet you we caught 40, 50 fish yesterday. It was just a riot. So anyway, that's what we were using, guys. Um, hopefully that helps you out. If you have any questions, just drop me a line or email me at uh, mrpikemt one Dot com or you can just leave comments here in the thing below. Anyway guys, uh, here we go with episode 4. Honestly, Neil, I'm not seeing a lot of people pulling fish like we are. <laughs> I think that's funny. Well, there's a few boats out here at Upper Halter. Funny is I haven't seen everybody catching fish. Shh, don't say that out loud. He bit on mine and went over to your. He's probably <laughs> gonna bite yours too. We'll <laughs> go for school of them and we get fucking ten of them. Here, Mike, gonna land this one. Uh, that's all right. <laughs> This fish surprises all of us because it's not what we think it is. That's a little bigger fish than the one I caught. Yeah, it is considerably bigger. <laughs> Me figure it is a rainbow. Pretty sure. Oh, yeah. That's a lot bigger. A lot more girth than that fish. And mm -hmm. the brown, brown trout. Mm -hmm. Brown trout. You can keep that fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we gotta let it go. Mm -hmm. oh, that's cool we got. Pitcher. Oh, away he goes. Yeah, you can tell that was a bigger fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way it was fighting. A nice brown though. You don't catch those every day. Okay, is it filming? Yeah. All right. Cool. Look at that big fish. Nice fish, Mike. Amen. Okay, We got a big one back here too, huh? Gotta make sure that. Was... Oh yeah. Oh. Nice fish. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, those are like the, that's like the perfect one right there. I'm happy to catch one. The smell of fish blood. You're going to have to untangle that. <laughs> I, could, I don't know why these fuckers, like they sit out here and they throw, they throw Rapalas all day. I'll fucking do this all day.
Got him? Good job, Mike. Right on, Mike. You're oh, you land that one. Yeah. Don't strike all. Just wait. Yep. Oh, nice rainbow. That's what I got here, too. Come on, Jimmy. Nothing like a little controlled chaos. <laughs> It was already worth it. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Here, Mike, send that one. <laughs> you got another one? Oh, yeah. You want to hold that? <laughs> <laughs> we want to keep that one, or I'm going to throw that throw, one. Throw, throw that one. Throw that one. This one's a large. One, God too. damn. This, I don't think this one's very big. No, this one will go right back in the drink. I don't know if you can bring it in here. I want to get your batter on. You got some growing to do. I'm trying to get it on the camera. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's three fish. Boom, boom, boom. That's the way we like it. It's right in this hole right here. They're just hanging out. Okay, now we reset. Push button, pull that line out. With the day we're having right now, this isn't a bad yeah. day. We haven't been out here more than two hours. Did you just miss one? Yeah, I just fucking fall and iron the bullet and just fucking strike. I need to get half a night crawler, Mikey. Half a night crawler coming up. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Oh, Mike's got. Oh! You have another good one, Mike? Yeah, I think I got a message going here. You're just dragging it, aren't you? I mean, the thing is, most of the bigger active fish are probably up off the bottom. They're not right That's on the bottom. It seems like, cause I, I They're probably halfway down. I was really focusing on keeping it on the bottom. It wasn't really strike. Right. Now, as soon as you like started bringing it up. up and kind of keep moving. Well, I think that's, like I said, these fish are about mid-water. I mean, everyone that I'm marking is about mid-water calm, like that 8 to 10 feet down. I got a deep pipe in there. I don't see any fish. You are one big bastard that doesn't want to give up. Give up. Oh! <laughs> That's a big fish. That's a nice one. <laughs> That's a nice one, Mike. Good job. <laughs> you guys want to go walleye fishing? Let's go walleye fishing. Let's, yeah. And we can always come back and do this. Yeah. So. Holy shit. Tell how many fish we got in this. I have you take a picture of that. Huh? There's gotta be at least 10 of them. Yeah. There's, I think that's 10 now. I mean, it's not like we can't come back and catch more of these. Uh, yeah, I'm so. done.
Look at that. Oh. I don't think it gets much better than that, to tell you the truth. This is where your food comes from, just so you guys know. <laughs>